welcome to Online Advantage. I'm Professor Gonzalez, and this is your video for the FASB Accounting Standards Codification. This is the single source for generally accepted accounting principles. The FASB comes up with GAAP, and they come up with the accounting standards updates. So as soon as those ASUs are entered into the FASB codification system, which is an online database, then it is part of generally accepted accounting principles. The codification is organized into nine main topics and approximately 90 subtopics, and it applies to for-profit entities. The codification starts with areas. So there are general areas that you need to be able to identify. So if you're looking for a specific topic, you need to be able to know what area it would be in. For example, if you were looking for accounts receivable, you have to know that that is an asset. And then it is all numbered. And the one thing I want to point out is that on the very bottom is industry specific. So if it's a 900 number, that is an industry specific topic. And I'll show you that in a future slide. So there's a hierarchy area. That's what you saw just a minute ago is where you start. And then from areas, you go to topics and then subtopics and then sections. There are subsections also, but that is only if applicable. An example of the codification reference, which sometimes we also call it the citation, reference or citation, is it starts with a topic, and that is a three-digit code, and then hyphen, subtopic with a two-digit code, and then section with a two-digit code. And then if applicable, we have the subsection and even a paragraph possibly. Accessing the codification. You would go to fasb.org, and there is a free basic version and there is a paid version. The main difference between the two is the paid version has the ability to search. However, you can kind of get around that a little bit by doing a Google search of your topic ahead of time. So if you do a FASB codification and search uh, uncollectible accounts receivable, for example, it will give you that area to look into or that topic to look into so that you can get a, a head start. So when you go to this website, you'll see the screen, you'll click on standards, and go to Accounting Standards Codification. Once in the FASB website, on the left-hand side of the screen, you will see the areas. That is what you saw on a previous slide that were numbered. You will then select the area by clicking on it, and then the topics will come up. So what you're seeing here is you clicked on Assets, and then you have Cash and Cash Equivalents, Receivables, Investments, etc. So those are the topics. You click on the topic of your choice and then the subtopics will appear. On the subtopics, you have overall, which is always a 10 code. That is everything that's not included in the other subtopics. So the next three are very specific, narrowly defined subtopics. And then all the 900 codes are industry specific. So you can see agriculture, financial services, healthcare, those are all industry specific. So if you're working with a company that is in that industry, you can go to one of those 900 levels. Most of the time you are gonna to go to 10 overall. Then once you get there, you click on 10, it will bring up the sections. So in the sections, there's many different things you can go into. Probably the more common area would be initial measurement and disclosure. Once you have finished that, you are now at a citation. So the citation or, or reference for this specific topic is 310-10-30 for receivables overall initial measurement. Now let's look at a couple of examples. If uh, you were looking for the seven digit codification citation for the initial measurement of internal use software, you would have to know that internal use software would be under assets. You would also have to know that it is an intangible asset. So you would go to assets, the topic would be 350 intangibles, subtopic 40 internal use software is an actual narrowly defined topic, and then 30 for initial measurement. Let's look at one more example. Find the eight digit, this is an eight digit instead of seven, codification citation for the disclosures that are required for uncollectible accounts receivable. This citation, this one's a little bit tricky because uncollectible accounts receivable is actually located under 606 revenue from contracts with customers. So this takes some practice and uh, research to get used to this. But like I said before, you can always Google uncollectible accounts receivable and it'll help you get started. So 606 and then 10 overall and 50 for disclosure. And then the bottom there, you're seeing the actual gap information, the standard. And that's where you would read the standard and figure out how to apply it. 50-4, 4 is the subsection and 50 is the section. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
and please click on Advantage logo to subscribe.